Okay, so the next question is, how do I pick the best niche market vertical industry or audience for my card uh, design uh, studio? And I would actually say this is it makes no difference whether you're using card or, you know, any other, uh, you know, framer or type dream or any other sort of one page landing uh, page style service. I think the most important thing is to pick a niche or an audience that you would be excited to work with. So when I think about the niches, verticals, markets, industry, audiences, uh, that I'd really like to work with. It's always for me, either authors or, uh, mental health professionals like therapists, uh, mindfulness teachers, anyone in that sort of, uh, space is exciting for me to work with. Why? Because I want to, you know, build professional, uh, or relationships with my niche neighbors and professional peers, right? So when I think out a bit, you know, time scale wise, I think that these are the folks that I'd be most excited, inspired, and stoked to be interacting with on a day to day basis. And of course, there are lots of other downstream you know, working relationships that one can cultivate by dint of starting uh, somewhere small, like with a landing page, uh, you know, or something along those lines or a testimonial uh, based service for mental health professionals. And, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, down the road to me is where the real payoff uh, you know, kind of uh, lands in my life. And the same is true with authors. So we have this tiny book about.com platform uh, coming uh, early in 2024 or being rebooted in early 2024. And again, it's the same thing. That audience ex excites me. Artists, authors, and entrepreneurs are the group that I count myself most comfortable within. And it makes me happiest to consider, you know, connecting with other authors and folks who want to, you know, write books and teach courses and build brands and businesses in that space, right? And of course, there is a uh, sort of a concentric circle there as well, like those two groups to me intersect in the way that, you know, I can reach out to folks I'm holding a coffin always when I'm doing this, which kind of sucks. But nonetheless, I can, you know, ultimately we want like authors who are writing tiny books about mental health, right? So there is or mindfulness or spiritual growth or personal development, all those sorts of topics. So there's a really kind of nice lateral connection between those two groups where, you know, it, it's, it becomes easy to say to somebody who's in the mental health or therapy or, you know, you know, kind of like, you know, mindfulness, meditation, uh, you know, sort of all those extended spaces to say, hey, have you thought about writing a book? Because we also run this other platform, a tiny book about dot com. So that's how I think about it. And it really doesn't make me excited to think about working with realtors or plumbers or financial advisors all of whom I have worked with in the past and all kinds of other people as well. And generally, I find myself less stoked about working with those sorts of folks just because I have a little bit less in common professionally uh, with those people. So my advice after that long winded sort of, you know, kind of treatise on my own approach is think about if you're a realtor and you and you're working with realtors or you want to help other fellow realtors, well, then target realtors. If you're a financial advisor or a CPA or a life coach or a dentist or a restaurant uh, owner or a food truck entrepreneur, and those are the kinds of folks that make you feel uh, most at home or you like to establish yourself as the thought leader or the go-to guru in that niche or market or, or vertical, then focus there. Certainly, you know, there are plenty of marketplaces that have even, you know, greater, uh, you know, sort of potential than the ones we're, we're covering here. So, and I don't know them all. I don't, I'm only interested in the ones that I know. Uh, and, you know, these are the things that make me most 
personally excited to get up in the in the morning and to locate people who I want to work with. So anyway, that's that's whether you're doing this for card or whether you're building framer sites or whether you're you're just doing marketing consulting or whether you're doing Facebook ad management or whether you're doing um you know SEO or newsletter marketing consulting whatever it is that you're doing just target a market that inspires you and you don't think you'll ever get sick of i know in my own life i will never get sick of working with people who are writing books or who want to write better books or who want to turn their books into courses and you know turn their books into uh or turn their courses into communities you know all that sort of stuff just always has excited me and it always will because that's the kind of you know work that i enjoy doing the most too and i'm also very interested in mental health you know both my own and working with people who are working with other people in the world and so it makes for a logical you know kind of market for me and i also come from a background where you know i have family who are uh you know medical professionals and uh psychiatrists and psychologists and social workers and all that good stuff anyway that's my advice teach what you know do what you love wake up the world with your work if you're interested in uh working with us in 2024 send me a note uh mindfulmarketplace@gmail.com check out a tiny book about.com to learn a little bit more about what we're doing there and you know ask any questions if you have them thanks so much have a wonderful day